Okay, I should be live. All right. Okay, so welcome. This is cartoon analysis number four. Okay, and the theme today is relationships. Hence the guy and the girl who are hugging each other over there. <laughs> okay, so in this live English lesson, we are going to analyze comics. And we're going to explore vocabulary and phrases as we go. You guys will help me uh, describe what we see and we'll talk about what we see. And throughout the lesson, we'll do questions and answers, right? So if you have questions, put them in the comments. If you have comments, put them in the comments. Okay, so we are going to be using some images from a very talented artist uh, that I found on Instagram uh, called Yehuda Devere. All right, so let's take a look at their Instagram page. And they, he, he and she, I think it's a husband and a wife. They're a team and they draw cartoons, right? And it's kind of that like represents their life and things that are happening in their life. So it's kind of like an action figure type drawing, but it represents things that are going on in their life. So we're going to use some of their pictures. And uh, yeah, so I think it's kind of cool. All right, so let's get in. Let's see what our first picture is. All right, so let's see if anybody's joining in the comments because it's going to be helpful if you guys... Aha, uh -huh. Garden is here in the comments. Hello. All right, so the theme today is relationships. So we're going to be looking at comics from the same cartoonist, and the cartoons are about him and his wife. Okay, so I'm going to put this first question here. What is happening in this picture? Maybe I'll, I'll change it. <clears throat> what is the occasion huh. in this picture? Huh? Leah Huda says hi. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so here is our first comic for today. There's not a lot of words, right? The woman's saying... Yes! <laughs> and the guy's saying, Will, right? Dot, dot, dot. So, can you guys tell me what is the occasion? Kind of looks like superheroes and superpowers and there's stuff happening. But this cartoonist, he draws pictures. He and she, I think they're a team, they work together. They draw pictures that represent their relationship. So, this was a moment in their relationship. And it looks like they embellished and they made it, you know, they added extra details and everything to the picture to celebrate an occasion. So can you guys tell me what is the occasion in this picture? Like what is the event? Uh, Refia Kosar says, hi teacher. Hello, hello. All right. So in this picture, ah, Garden says he's proposing. Yes, right. So we could say... <clears throat> The guy is proposing. What is he proposing? It's not like a business deal, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. He is proposing marriage, right? Uh-huh. The garden says he's proposing, yes. <clears throat> Leah Huda says the woman is on fire. Yes. <laughs> right? But there's like a reason. I think it represents something. Ah, Key in English says hi there. Hello, hello. Oh, so the guy is proposing marriage. He's in mid-sentence. Right? So he's saying will. And then she's like, yes! <laughs> Refia Kozar says, I think the woman is in a portal. In a portal between worlds. Hmm, possible. I think there's another reason. All right, let's see. Uh, when someone proposes marriage, especially if the people love each other, how does the woman feel if she wants to get married? What do you think? <laughs> so this picture is kind of cool, I think, because it kind of shows them with like superpowers and stuff, but it's a way they describe their... The event in their life. So the the cartoonists who make these cartoons are a husband and wife team and they draw. 
right? So this is a moment and occasion in their relationship. <laughs> Let's see, Key in English says, maybe the guy is asking for something else. <laughs> like, will you please move your car out of the driveway because it's blocking me? Well, let's see. So the guy is proposing marriage. Marriage. He's in mid-sentence. The woman interrupts him to scream. They will say yell. To yell. Yes! So, what do we know? By looking at her and her answer, how can we describe how she's feeling? What do you think? So we did, what is the occasion for this picture? How, how can we describe the emotion that the woman is feeling, but she's like, whoosh. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Ah, yes, we have a wonderful idiom. Key in English says she's over the moon, right? She is, she's over the moon with happiness, right? They will say extreme happiness. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh, Garden says she's super excited. Leahuda says, but he looks like afraid of her as she's refusing his request. <laughs> I think he was not expecting her incredible energy, and he's like, ah. But it's going to be good, right? Because he wants to get married. Maybe he was a little bit nervous, and now she's just like overwhelmingly saying yes. All right? Let's see. I, I don't know how to pronounce the Arabic, but it says, Hi, mister. I'm learning a lot from you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out with Ava Lingo. Ah, Keen English. Throwing out some more idioms. She's in seventh heaven. She's on cloud nine. All right. Let's see. She's in seventh heaven. Uh huh. She's on cloud nine, right? So these are idioms. Seventh heaven on cloud nine over the moon means like something incredible is happening in your life, and you're just like yes. <laughs> like this lady, she's just like yes. Maybe she's been waiting a long time for him to propose. Hmm. All right. Refia Kozar says she's flying in the air because it makes her so happy. Huh? Lehuda says she's been waiting for this moment. It's like she's on fire. Okay. All right. Good, good. So here's a question. How can we describe the man's body position? Hmm. What do you think? How can we describe what is the man doing? What is his body position? So we can see how his legs are positioned, how his arms are positioned. What do you think? How can we describe the man's body position? All right. Key in English says he's on his knees, which is half correct, right? He's not on both knees. Aha. Uh -huh. Leah Huda and Garden say kneeling. Yes. All right. The guy is kneeling down on his, I guess it's his right knee, right? So he's not quite on his knees because both of the knees be, need to be down for him to be on his knees, but it's close, it's close. So the guy is kneeling down on his right knee and good, good. How do we describe what is he doing with his hands, with his arms? And see, Key in English has left knee. Well, if he's kneeling down, uh, the knee that's actually touching the ground, I think, is his right knee. So his other knee is, his left knee is still up, but his right knee is down touching. See? How can we describe his hand position, his arms position? What do you say? Huh? He in English says he's stretching out his hands, right? And we can probably go a little bit further because his hands are connected to his arms. He's stretching out his arms whoop, toward the woman or the lady and <laughs> Lehuda says begging her to accept him as her future husband well begging is a strong word 
<laughs> if he was begging, I think he would have his hands together more like this. Come on, baby. Come on. I'll show you the ring in a moment, but just please. Mm-hmm. We could say he's stretching out his arms towards a lady and offering her a, and what is it called? An engagement ring. Uh-huh. Yes, Ken English says offering her a ring. Right. Now, at when he extends his hands, that's the moment of truth, right? The moment of truth is when you figure out. Here, let me put that one. That's a good. Uh, I'll put it over here. The moment of truth. <laughs> this is when you find out if you're a success or if you're a failure. Have things worked out how you wanted them or not? The moment of truth. And we can already see that, you know, things worked out in his favor. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <clears throat> so, he's offering her an engagement ring, and it's in one of those little, what do they call it, a ring box? Let's see if we can take a look. A ring box? Enge engagement ring box? Is that what it's called? Ring box? There you go. Okay, yep, an engagement ring box. Ooh, this one even has a light on it? Wow, that's cool. Interesting. All right, so this is an engagement ring box. Here we go, right there. Engagement ring box. And then it usually has a spring and it kind of clips closed, right? Right? Whoop. He's offering her an engagement ring, right? Right? Okay. So, <laughs> let's see. Let's see, uh, ain't the same, says, hey, 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 hey. All right, so let's see. Let's do, what words can we use to uh, describe the feeling of this situation? What do you think? Feelings maybe in this situation. What do you think? What words can we use to describe? We don't have to make a sentence, just words. What do you think? Uh, before, I think we said exciting. That would work, right? What else could we... Ah, key in English says romantic moment. Mm-hmm. As long as she doesn't knock him over <laughs> with her powerful energy. Uh-huh. Okay, it's romantic moment. moment. What do you think? Ah, ain't the same. She's like, finally. Uh-huh. So maybe we could say she feels uh, relieved. Or maybe she she feels relief. She's like, ah, oh, right? I've been waiting so long and finally I'm relieved because you finally asked me. Yes. Huh? Huh? Maybe we could say uh, enthusiastic. Like, there's just like so much positive energy. They're like, ah, it's wonderful. Maybe we could say, ah, Key in English says a poetic moment. Hmm. Ah, a poetic moment. Sure. So we're going to assume, you know, after this, they get married and things go well. All right. Okay. Ain't the same. She's over the moon and beyond. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay. Well, I think we're going to move on to the next picture. So it's the same cartoon artist, or same cartoonist, but a different picture. Refi Akozar, we can, we can say nervous moment is not this picture, right? Nobody's nervous in this moment. They're probably happy, relieved, uh, right? Huh? Okay, so here's the next picture. Hmm. Okay. So, so how can we describe what they're doing? All right. Da, 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 da. How can we describe what the couple is doing in this in this uh, picture? Lee Huda says I should be serious. Sorry, teacher. Eh, serious is overrated. <laughs> There are plenty of times in life to be serious, and 
I think now is a good time to relax, have some fun. Okay. Let's see, Garden says they're driving. All right. The couple, maybe we'll say the newly engaged. Uh-huh. The newly engaged couple. So newly engaged just means, you know, they got engaged just a little while ago. The newly engaged couple is driving in their car. Right? Let's see. Key in English says they're married now and they're on their way to their honeymoon. That's possible. So it could be the newly engaged or maybe the newly married couple is driving in their car. They're on their way to their honeymoon. Let's see. Ain't the same says they're celebrating in their own way. I like that. Uh huh. They're celebrating in their own way by what? By ah, Refia Kosar says rock and roll. Yes. Uh huh. Vera Kalugina says they are laughing. Yes. You can see the musical notes, right? We know they're probably listening to music. Bye. So they're celebrating in their own way. Their relationship, their, how they're doing it. And I would say by, by rocking out in their car. <laughs> rocking out. And when I say rocking out, it's like when you listen to the music and they're like, yeah, and it's wonderful and you're shaking your head and it's incredible. So they're rocking out. Um, maybe we could say head banging. <laughs> See if I can find a picture for that. Head banging. All right. This is kind of more for like heavy metal type things. Let's see if I can find a picture of head banging. Okay. Maybe a head banging GIF. Uh -huh. Let's see if it will load. All right. Let's take a look. Okay. So if you guys can see <laughs> head banging, it's like usually it's more common with people with long hair, I guess. Well, maybe not necessarily, but with the long hair, it looks more, a lot, lot cooler than just no hair and you're going like this, right? The hair flies around and your head banging. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, common for like heavy metal concerts and like Metallica, Megadeth, Ozzy Osbourne, stuff like that. And like, yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So we could say. They are rocking out in their car or they're head banging in their car and they're enjoying the music, right? Enjoying the moment with wonderful, with, I don't know, what do we call it? In, not quite inspiring, but uh, with great music. How about that? Huh? All right, let's take a look at the comments. Ain't the same says singing their song, right? Maybe they're the song their song, the most romantic song for them is like a heavy metal song. <laughs> Who knows? Key in English says they're going to paint the town red. Uh-huh. They're on their way to party like crazy. And if we look outside, it's not quite night yet. So maybe they're on their way to, to go partying. And maybe they're going to drive and it's going to get dark and then they go out. Let's see. Refia Kosar says maybe the weather is spring. Sure. I see like green trees, green leaves out the window. Uh, Leah Huda says they got married eventually after a long time of waiting. Sure. Vera Kalugina says they are singing. Ain't the same says heavy metal song, of course. All right. And they're head banging. And she has long hair, right? So she can like whip it around. And he has short hair. And since she, since he's driving, if she whips her head, hair around so much, it could <laughs> kind of block his driving, which could be dangerous. Mm hmm. Ah, Ik, Iksan Sobari says throb situation. Well, you could say the music is throbbing, it's pulsing, it's booming, it's pumping, right? Because they probably have the volume turned up like real loud, and it's loud, and they're enjoying it, and it's boom, 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 something like that. Huh? Well, I just think I think we have a great opportunity for some uh, pronunciation. So here we go. Repeat after me. And if you're doing pronunciation, put it, some apples in the comments. I love apples. Right? Here we go. Repeat out loud. How can we describe what they're doing?
The newly engaged or married couple is driving in their car. They're on their way to their honeymoon. They're celebrating in their own way by rocking out or headbanging in their car. They're enjoying the moment with great music. They're going to paint the town red. And since this is an informal situation, let me ask you guys, I highlighted it here, since this is a very informal situation, what can we change going to what word can we replace, which is actually incorrect English, but it's very informal and very common to use? What do you think? What can we switch? We're going to change going to into something else. What other word do you think we can use that has the same meaning, but is informal and used all the time? Yes, Leahuda says gonna. That's it. Right. They're gonna paint the town red. So here we go. Repeat after me. They're gonna paint the town red. Right. And we know it's incorrect English. Someone's going to say it's incorrect English. It's incorrect English. And I will say, who cares? <laughs> Everybody uses it, right? Okay. Right. Da -da -da -da. Gonna, gonna. Okay. Let's see. Ain't the same. When pronouncing there, it's almost like there in pronunciation, right? Well, the pronunciation of there and there is the same. <laughs> We have there, oh, let me make it bold, there, there, and there. It's pretty much, a, this. it's the same pronunciation. There, over there, uh, their house, they're happy. So, yeah, they're, what are they called, homonyms, I think? Same word, or words that are spelled differently but sound the same. Uh-huh, okay, all right, so... <laughs> Ain't the same says cool with some shades. All right. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to ask a question. Let's see. How? Oh, here. Let's make it bold. How are they being safe while driving? What do you think? What are they doing that indicates to us that they are trying to be safe while driving? What do you think? What do you think? What are they doing in the car? Aha! Leah Huda says by using a safety belt. Right. So we could say they're wearing their seat belts. Right? And sometimes I've heard safety belt. I've heard it more common seat belts. Right? So if you're wearing your seat belts, that's just always nice to see uh, an image so here we go let's take a look at seat belts aha still head banging all right so seat belts mm -hmm. and you click it in right you pull the seat belt strap over your shoulder and you buckle it in you buckle it in huh right so someone might say okay uh buckle yourselves in because this is gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> right? Make that bold so it's easier to see. Uh huh. So it's common. Buckle yourselves in because this is gonna be a wild ride. And it could be in a car, on a roller coaster, or some sort of ride where you need a seatbelt. Uh huh? So they're wearing seatbelts. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Ik, Ik San Sobari says, new word of headbanging. Nice. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Ain't the same says, they fasten their seatbelts. Yes. They're wearing their seatbelts. We could also say, they fastened their seatbelts. Uh huh. We could also say, they buckled, uh, buckled themselves in. 
Right, they buckled themselves in. Okay. All right. Well, let's move to another one. I think these pictures are pretty cool. I like them. Right? Okay. <laughs> this one just has one word. It says selfie. All right. So, first, before we describe the picture, can you guys tell me what is a selfie? And now, I know that you guys know what a selfie is, but the challenge here is to explain it in English. How do we describe what is a selfie? How do we put it into words in English? All right, Dogu Khan Eren says, taking a selfie, yes, okay. So pretend that someone is, I don't know, maybe it's an older person, they don't really have cell phones and stuff like that, and someone in English says to you, what is a selfie? How would you explain in English, what is a selfie? All right, Leah Huda says, picture taken by yourself. Ain't the same says, taking a photo of oneself. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. Huh? All right, and I'm just curious, because uh, selfie I think is kind of a an informal term, but let's see if it's in the dictionary. Hmm. Let's see what Google says. Uh-huh. It's in the dictionary. Okay. So, a pho photograph that one has taken of oneself. Typically, one taken with a smartphone or webcam and shared via social media. Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't get any better than that, so we'll copy that one over. All right. So, let's see what we have here. And we'll make it a complete sentence. A selfie is a photograph that one has taken of oneself, typically one taken with a smartphone or webcam and shared via social media. That's like the scientific definition. <laughs> definition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Lee Huda says sometimes we use a selfie stick. That's right. And then other people get like, why are you sticking the stick out everywhere? And... <laughs> Ain't the same says while doing bizarre expressions, right? So biz bizarre kind of means like wild and strange and crazy all at the same time. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. So repeat after me. Let's do this uh, pronunciation. And if you're doing pronunciation, apples in the comments. Okay. Repeat out loud. A selfie is a foot. <laughs> Let me take a drink. Sorry. Okay, I'm ready. Repeat after me. A selfie is a photograph that one has taken of oneself, typically one taken with a smartphone or webcam and shared via social media. That sentence is kind of a mouthful. Uh huh. Maybe we'll do it one more time. Here we go. A selfie is a photograph that one has taken of oneself, typically one taken with a smartphone or webcam and shared via social media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I see. Garden says, selfie means selfie. <laughs> I find that interesting. I ask my students sometimes, can you tell me, uh, you know, can you tell me what is, what does photograph mean? And they're like, photograph. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, but how do we describe it? How do we explain it in English? Right. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. So we talked about what is a selfie. All right. So let's see, how should we do this? Here's the question. How do we describe the woman's hair? What do you think? How do we describe... I don't want to say, I don't want to give you guys hints. You guys tell me. How do we describe the, I guess, the movement, the placement? The most the motion of the woman's hair. 
All right, Leah Huda says flying up like that. Huh. Let's see, we can say uh, the lady's hair is flying up. Uh huh. Me Tarede in English say it's, it's up, up in the air. Uh huh. I think you said it's up to the air. We would say it's up in the air. Ain't the same says covering that poor man's face. <laughs> uh huh. So we could combine Ain't the Same's and Leah Huda's answers, and we'll say the lady's hair is flying up into the man's face. And we could say, maybe add one piece. It's completely covering his face. Huh? Or his head, even, probably. <laughs> uh huh. So the lady's hair is flying up into the man's face. It's completely covering his head. Hmm? Hmm? All right. How about this? Can you guys tell me how can we summarize this cartoon? Right? So we don't need like super many whole bunch of details, but how can we summarize what's happening in this cartoon? I'd say this cartoon is is titled Selfie. Vera Kalugina says her red hair is fluffy. Fluffy and everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ain't the same says, so the photo is going to be about the girl and her hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Leahuda, I mean, how could they take a photo while his face is hidden? Ooh, that could be a good question. I can think of a possibility. See? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So how can we summarize this cartoon? What if we start with... The couple was walking, and what? The couple was walking, and... Hmm, what? So, before they took the selfie, right? They were The couple was walking, and what? Let's see, maybe we could put... They decided to what? So this would be before before they started to take the selfie. How can we finish this sentence? The couple was walking and they decided to what? <laughs> what do we think? Maybe they were out on a date or they were out walking in some nice place. And they decided to, uh, Leah Huda says, embrace each other. Well, it's possible. But I guess we're going to go with what's happening in the picture. Aha, uh -huh. Ain't the Same says, they decided to show the world how happy they are. Uh -huh. They decided to show the world how happy they are by what? This sentence can go forever? <laughs> Okay, so we have the couple was walking and they decided to show the world how happy they are. Well, I guess we would be in were because we were was walking, was past tense, to show the world how happy they were by what? What can we put in there? Vera Kalugina says this pic shows their upper happiness, their uh, extreme happiness, their huge amount of happiness. Mitare de Inglés says they are in front of the Eiffel Tower. Sure. Huh? And Lehuda, yes, to finish the sentence, to show the world how happy they were by taking a selfie. And we could say together. Huh? Uh, perhaps they were standing in front of the... What did uh, Mitare say? The Eiffel Tower. Uh-huh and wanted to remember the moment. Hmm? Mitare in English says they want to have a picture going off their trip to France, right? And it wouldn't be so exciting if you just took a picture of the Eiffel Tower by itself. It's better to, you know, be in it with the selfie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mitare de English says, but the guy didn't appear in the picture. Ain't the same by cherishing the moment and making it forever via taking a selfie. Huh? Let's see how we say that. By cherishing the moment and 
maybe freezing the moment in time or keeping the memory forever in the form of a picture, in the form of a selfie. Leah Huda says, and showing themselves off to their close friends. Right, right. I'm going to move this question so I can have more room to type. Perhaps they were standing in front of the Eiffel Tower and wanted to remember the moment. Okay, so let's see if we can do this sentence. Uh, let's see. Suddenly, at the same moment that, uh, at the same moment the man was pushing the camera button, what happened? At the same moment the man was pushing the camera button, what happened? Something had to cause her hair to go whoop, right? So something had to happen. So suddenly, at the same moment the man was pushing the camera button, what do you think happened to cause her hair? I mean, I'm going to guess that's not her regular hairstyle. <laughs> right? So she something had to happen. And if they're outside by the Eiffel Tower, let's take a look. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at selfie in front of Eiffel Tower. And there it is, in front of Eiffel Tower. Okay, so... Uh -huh, maybe it's something like this, right? And they're like, oh, it's so nice, it's beautiful, it's romantic, and we're going to show everybody on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, uh, YouTube, everything. <laughs> okay, so... So we're trying to finish the sentence. Suddenly, at the same moment, the man was pushing the camera button... Let's see, Vera Galugina says, the wind blew. Yes, the wind blew. Or, aha, uh -huh, the wind blew. Or maybe we could say, uh, there was a gust of wind. A gust of wind. So a gust of wind is like, it's not like a constant wind. It's like a quick whoosh, right? So you weren't expecting it and suddenly whoosh, there was a gust. A gust of wind. There was a gust of wind which caused the lady's hair to fly up in front of his face. In front of the guy's face. Huh? Move this up. Okay. It was a moment to remember. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, ain't the same says his girlfriend decided to headbang again. Hmm? Hopefully she doesn't go whack and smack him in the nose and he'll be like with a bloody nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we have another opportunity for some pronunciation. Here we go. Repeat after me. Let's start with the first sentence is a little bit longer. All right. So repeat after me. Let's do it. The couple was walking, and they decided to show the world how happy they were by taking a selfie together. Okay. Perhaps they were standing in front of the Eiffel Tower and wanted to remember the moment. Suddenly, at the same moment the man was pushing the camera button, there was a gust of wind which caused the lady's hair to fly up in front of the guy's face. It was a moment to remember. Okay, all right, so if you're doing pronunciation, put some apples in the comments. That's wonderful. All right, let's see. I'm going to make a copy of this slide. Because I have a question. Who took the, this picture of the couple? So, we have the couple that's taking a, a, a selfie of themselves, but 
it, pretend this is a real picture, right? Who do you think took a picture of the couple taking the selfie? What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Another way to ask, we could say... We could say, who snapped this photo? Huh? Who snapped this photo of the couple? Hmm? Let's see. Ain't the same, says the director. Like, like a movie? The movie director? Huh? Maybe they were shooting a scene or they were preparing for a movie and this perfect gust of wind came, poof, and then they're like, gotcha. Huh? Let's see, Leah Huda says it's probably a photographer they rented. Uh-huh. So, let's see, you, you wouldn't rent the photographer, well, kind of, but you don't usually rent people. <laughs> you hire people. Uh-huh. Uh, we could say the photographer they hired. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, Ola Momani says maybe their friend. Sure. Uh, their friend. Sure. Huh? Vera Kalugina says maybe their friend. Garden says a stranger. Aha. Uh -huh. A stranger. So maybe suddenly this picture got on social media, but they're like, hey, that looks like us. We didn't take that picture. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, Mitarea de Inglés says, a tourist? Sure. Uh, Dogukan Eren says, maybe an Instagrammer. Uh-huh. Uh, Instagrammer. Instagrammer. Huh? Vera Kalugina says, another photographer? Sure. Mitarea de Inglés, the woman's mother? All right, so we'll put that one over here. Uh, maybe a family member? It could be a mother, it could be a father, sister, brother. Leah Huda says, or maybe her ex. Ooh, now we have some drama. Ex has been stalking. <laughs> and he's been taking pictures. He's like, uh-huh. Right? Uh, and ex, uh, I guess we could put ex-boyfriend. Or it could be ex-girlfriend. If it's from the guy or from the girl. Who knows? Girlfriend. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. All right, so this cartoon or this comic cartoon was selfie. All right, all right, let's see. Let's go to another picture. I think we have time for one more. Here we go. Hmm, which one should I choose? Hmm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this was not bad. Okay. <laughs> This is nice. So first, let's, uh, what should we do? Um, what kind of food did the woman prepare? I would just say cook. What kind of food did the woman cook? What do you guys think? And we'll go step by step to describe what's happening. <laughs> but what kind of food did the woman cook? Ain't the same says noodles, right? Uh, UK Kawai says samyang, samyang, samyang. I don't know what that is, but I'm curious. I'm going to put it into Google search and see what pops up. Samyang, hmm. Oh, like instant noodles, right? Ah, is this Japanese? Instant, kind of like instant noodles. Oop. Instant ramen. Ah, that's what I remember. Instant ramen noodles. Is that some young? Interesting. And in, uh, right, right, right. Uh huh. Okay. All right, what else we have? Hmm. Ain't the same says spaghetti. Ola Mom, Momani says spaghetti. Garden says spaghetti. I think it's spaghetti. Right, spaghetti, right? And we could we could be more broad. We could say maybe Italian food. Huh? 
And I think there might be meatballs in there. So we'll say spaghetti and meatballs. Right, so let's take a look. I suppose we just spell it out. Spaghetti and meatballs. Have you guys ever eaten spaghetti and meatballs? They're delicious. Take a look. I like pictures and I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> so I will take a look. Oh. Oh. Let's take a moment and appreciate the goodness of spaghetti and meatballs. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My mom used to make something called porcupine meatballs when I was... Ah, there they are. Porcupine meatballs. Oh, oh, I miss these. Oh, oh, let's take a moment to relive my childhood. My mom used to make uh, porcupine meatballs. And just quick, so you guys know what a porcupine is. A porcupine is a kind of an animal, but it doesn't mean we're eating the porcupine. It just... <laughs> they call them porcupine meatballs and I think they call them porcupine meatballs because they put little they put rice in there when they make the meatballs they put rice in there delicious and then it's in like a tomato sauce with spices and uh oh it's good oh I'm like reliving my childhood here mm, I miss these they were just delicious let's see uh, let's see. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Is it spicy? <laughs> no, it's not spicy. Well, it depends on the cook. If you add the spices, you could make it spicy. My mom usually didn't make it too spicy, but uh, just mm, mm, I would like to eat them. And my mom would make them. You could make them really big, or you could make them like smaller, like uh, ping pong ball size. That's what I remember. Mm. Okay, so. This is porcupine meatballs. They're delicious. All right, so let's go back. Let's stay a little bit focused here. And let's go back to spaghetti and meatballs. All right, so you have the spaghetti pasta. And then the meatballs are just the meat chunks that are kind of rolled together in balls. And then they put the sauce. They put the garlic. They put the you know, all the little ingredients. And they're delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the lady cooked speed meatball or spaghetti and meatballs. Uh huh. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> so let's see. What? Uh. Let's see. How about this? How will the guy answer the lady's question? How will the, the guy answer the lady's question? <laughs> so she's saying, do you like it? Do you like my spaghetti and meatballs? And there are a whole bunch of pots and pans. It looks like she took some time to, you know, really probably make them from scratch, which means natural ingredients cooked with love, right? So she cooked the spaghetti and meatballs and she's like, do you like it? And the guy's like, how is he how is he gonna answer let's see Dogu Khan Oren says no it's not good uh you UQ Kawaii says yes honey it's really delicious food it's the most delicious food I've ever eaten let's see Vera Kalugana says it is delicious ain't the same his face expression answered it all poor man <laughs> Ola Mamani says absolutely not Gogu Khan Eren says, pretty bad. All right, so how will the guy answer the question? Well, well, let's see. We have a couple of different possibilities. If he's trying to be extra nice, he'll say, it's great. Uh, if he's being honest, he might say, that he doesn't really like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I don't know how clear the picture is for you guys, but uh, what is the man holding in his hand? What is he holding? And it's connected to his mouth. What? <laughs> 
What is the man holding in his hand that is connected to his mouth? This is a little bit gross, but uh, it's kind of funny too. What do you think? So, yes, UK Kawhi says his wife's hair. <laughs> uh huh. It's a long hair from his wife. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wife's hair. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, somehow, oh, maybe I'll just put it somehow. When she was cooking, uh, some of her hair uh, got mixed in. Uh huh. And unfortunately, he's like, hmm, there's something extra in here that I don't recognize because you've cooked spaghetti and meatballs before. And then he's like, Zzz. <laughs> well, it probably didn't make a noise, but it just came out. And he's like, ah, this is kind of gross. Hmm? 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 <laughs> okay, so this is a good question. Let's see. How can we describe the man's reaction? How can we describe the man's reaction? I'll be more specific to finding his wife's hair in his uh, bowl of spaghetti. So, how can we describe the man's reaction to finding his wife's hair in his bowl of spaghetti? <laughs> Ain't the same says an extra ingredient. Surprise! <laughs> uh huh. Lee Huda says we know that the nearest way to a man's heart is his stomach, and this picture doesn't it doesn't apply to this picture. Hmm? UK Kawhi says disgusting. Ain't the same says it's that disastrous hair again. Mm -hmm. Goku Khan says it must be terrible. All right, so Vera Kalugana says disgusting, right? We can say he is disgusted. He is disgusted, or maybe he feels disgusted. And disgusted is just like, eh, eh, it's gross. Uh huh, uh huh. Iksan Subari says he, he comes out his tongue, he's sticking his tongue out, right? So we could say, how did he react? He stuck his tongue out. Uh huh. He stuck his tongue out. Ugh. Like it's not good. Uh huh. Garden says he spitted it out, and we just say he spit. He spit it out. He spit it out. This is still past tense, but it's he spit it out. See. Ain't the same says he almost choked. Uh-huh. He almost choked. Hmm? Hmm? So he's... Oh, I'm going to say he... We're going to change it to uh, contraction. He's disgusted, right? He feels disgusted. Hmm? Mita Rea de Inglés says he wants to vomit. Yeah, yeah, to vomit. Right? And another way to say vomit is to throw up. Right? To throw up. So you have a nice phrasal verb in there. Nice. To throw up is the same as vomit. And actually, I'm thinking that it seems more common for me to hear throw up instead of vomit. Vomit is kind of like what the doctors would say. I think more informal people usually would say throw up. But, oh, I don't feel so good. I don't feel so well. I feel like I need to throw up. Right. Hmm? Okay, all right. So, right. Da, 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 da. Why don't we go back through? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me take a drink quick. All right. Why don't we go back through? We're going to do some pronunciation. Ah, Dogu Khan Eren says he will avoid the meal. He will avoid the meal. Huh? So maybe he will stop eating. Immediately, <laughs> because maybe there are more hairs in the meal, and he's like, ah, right. This is kind of a tricky situation, right? Because you want to maintain a good relationship with your wife, but on the other hand, the hair is just nasty, right? It's like, ah. So he could probably, in a respectful way, say, 
Hey baby, I, I just found a a hair in my food and it's just I don't like it and you know if any if there's any other hair? Cause I don't like eating hair. Hmm? Ain't the same says disgusted and confused. It was a situation where he knew nothing about how to react. Hmm? We could say it's his gut, his gut reaction. Gut reaction. Let's do this is a good phrase. Uh gut reaction. Huh? We use in a sentence. His gut reaction was to stick out his tongue. Tongue and I don't know, feel like throwing up. And your gut reaction is like your immediate it's like uh your immediate um yeah, it's your immediate reaction. It's your immediate feeling to something. Something happens and you're like, you immediately have a feeling it's your gut reaction. So his gut reaction was to stick out his tongue and feel like throwing up. He's like, ah, ah. Okay. 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 All right, so let's use, let's go back and we're going to do some uh, pronunciation on the sentences that we made, okay? So the same picture. Repeat after me. We're going to do pronunciation. If you're doing it, put some apples in the comments. Right? Repeat out loud. How will the guy answer the lady's question? If he's trying to be extra nice, he'll say, It's great! If he's being honest, he might say that he really doesn't like it. All right, here we go, repeat. What is the man holding in his hand that is connected to his mouth? All right, we'll do the whole thing. It's a long hair from his wife. Somehow, when she was cooking, some of her hair got mixed in. All right, all right, here we go. Repeat after me. How can we describe the man's reaction to finding his hair, his wife's hair in his bowl of spaghetti? Okay, and I'm gonna change this to a contraction because it's much more common to do it that way. All right, repeat after me. He'll stop eating immediately. <clears throat> He's disgusted. He feels disgusted. He stuck his tongue out. He spit it out. He almost choked. He wants to vomit, to throw up. Okay, and I have one more sentence. Here we go. Repeat after me. His gut reaction was to stick out his tongue and feel like throwing up. Okay, let's see what we have in the comments. Uh, Mitare Dengle says, this hair is just the tip of the iceberg, and there are more in the bowl. Ah, nice use of tip of the iceberg. Hmm, another idiom, meaning, well, probably only one way to explain this one. But good, good idiom. Tip of the iceberg, which means it's just a small section that you know about, but there's probably a whole bunch, whole bunch bunch more all right let's see okay all right okay okay so ooh, time goes fast right so today we did cartoon analysis and it was number four all right uh, we've done th I've done three before this so you can check out our YouTube channel if you want to take a look today the the theme was relationship and we use the same cartoonist uh, uh, and the, the same people that make the same cartoons and we talked about them 
So we analyzed comics, we explored vocabulary and phrases, and we did questions and answers throughout. All right. Okay. Uh, Leah Huda says, it's better, it's better for her to wear the hairnet so she won't get embarrassed again. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so let me close up here. Improve your English, become more valuable. Improve your skills and have more confidence and, you know, create more value. All right? If you enjoyed our stuff, <laughs> subscribe and click on the like button. Right? Ta -da! And if you're already subscribed, hit the bell button. It lets uh, YouTube will let you know that we have new stuff. All right? So let's see if I have... If I have a picture at the end here, I do. Aha! All right. Let's see. So this will be the last before I leave. Can you guys tell me what do we see in this lovely, relaxing picture? Hmm. Do you think? This is, I like to close my lessons this way because it's just a nice, relaxing picture. Maybe I'll turn up my music a little bit. But before I type my thanks in the comments, can you guys tell me what do we see in this picture? I see green things. All right, Ain't the Same says a tree trunk. Yes, right here we see a tree trunk or the bottom of the tree or the base of the tree, right? Ola Momani says flowers. Yes, we have white flowers. I don't know if they're daisies. Let's see. Let's take a quick look if these would be daisies. I'm not a flower expert, but... Daisies. Eh, something similar. Yeah, okay. So we have little white flowers in the grass. Ain't the same says a green valley with some white flowers. Gogukan Eren says a sunrise. Uh -huh. And we can see the sun rays. Sun rays. Sun rays are the, the streams of light that are coming down from the sun. Right? Uh, Vera Kaulugina says sunlight. Garden says ray of sun, right? You can say ray of the sun, or you can say sun rays. Sun rays. Huh? And the background is blurry, right? So we don't exactly know what's back there, but we could probably guess it's uh, a forest, more trees, more green stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Ain't the same says it's that perfect ambience we all seek, right? Mitarere Inglés says, I have a question. You look at the time. All right, be quick. <laughs> I'll see if I can answer. All right, go ahead. What is your question, Mitare de Inglés? Yukus Hawaii says the sun is bright. Yes, the sun is bright. Kind of almost glaring, right? It's too bright to look at. Huh? huh? All right, I can wait just for a little bit. Mitare says she had... To she or he, I'm not sure. I have, I have a question. All right, I can just wait a little bit longer, then I gotta go. Better just to type your question in right away. UQ Kawhi says, We need more additional time live on YouTube, Michael. Well, my schedule, we'll see. I don't know, we'll see. Ain't the Same says that picture is perfect for Yanni's music. Yes, I love Yanni. I used to listen to Yanni. I still listen to Yanni, but I used to listen to him all the time when I was in college. It's the only music I could listen to and still be able to focus on my studies. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, I have to go. I'm going to turn up the music. And let's see. It starts. Aha, there it is. All right, so I'm going to turn up the music. Oh, here we go. There's a question. I've got to be quick. Mitarede Inglés says, I have this question. Should I ask, what do you ca call these kind of flowers? Or how do you call these kind of flowers? I would say, what? What do you call these kind of flowers? You could always also say, actually, even better, I would say, what kind of flowers are these? Right? I would probably say something like this. What kind of flowers are these? Huh? That's what I would say. What kind of flowers are these? Hmm? Hmm? 
Oh, another way, just quick. I know I need to go. You could say, uh, what are these flowers called? Huh? So then we're going, you know, what's the name of what what is the name of these flowers, right? Okay. Okay, I really gotta go, but I'm gonna turn up music. Here we go.